Hey guys, I am 37 weeks today and I would just like to do my 37 week update. I am due to give birth in a few days by a scheduled C-section. So this will be my last one, but we'll definitely update you guys on when he's born. Yeah, I just want to tell you guys my symptoms for this week and how I've been feeling and what's been going on. Okay, symptoms this week so far, I've been writing them down as the days went so I won't forget. A few days ago, it was pretty hot. Well, not a few. At the beginning of the week, it was pretty hot. And every time I would walk or do something, like go outside, come back in type deal, my feet and my legs, especially like my legs, felt really swollen. And I don't know why. Like, I didn't really feel it so much in my feet. It was more like the ankle part. And then my whole leg felt like it was triple the size. So I wasn't, I don't, I'm not sure what was going on there, but when I would lay down or sit down, it would go away after a while. So I would just, I just thought, hmm, I'm going to increase my water intake and maybe that will help it. And I think it did <laughs> because I haven't had it since, but it hasn't been as hot. So I'm just thinking that's what I was dehydrated or something. My blood pressure has been good. When I had the swelling, I went into my local shoppers and checked my blood pressure because it freaks me out and, uh, it was good and then the next day at my appointment it was still good so the joint that connects your leg to your like pelvic bone area type deal I feel like this pressure sometimes where it almost feels like my leg is half numb like on either side of the leg and like I walk all like crooked for a second because it's just, it catches me off guard and I don't know what it is it's kind of like a it's just a kind of numb feeling a tight weird numb feeling and I don't know what it is I'm pretty sure it's just it's normal because I asked my ultrasound tech if that was like weird <laughs> and she's like oh no that's that's just your pelvic bones or your pelvic muscles having too much pressure on them and stuff so I'm hoping that's just what it is. <laughs> a few days ago for a few days straight I was very uncomfortable even when laying down like my go-to spot is to lay down in my bed and watch something on my laptop or whatever like I would be comfy but in those days I I couldn't get comfy and I don't know why like it was just like any side I would go on it would be uncomfortable and I'd feel real just just not right like I just it, it's like it wasn't a good sleep or something or like a good position anyway I was in so that really sucked but the last night and the night before it was a bit better maybe because like I like made my bed extra good or something I don't know I made sure everything was like comfier on the comfier side so maybe that helped last night and the night before I had pretty bad heartburn for the first time in a few weeks so that that really sucked I just take Tums though and it usually goes away after one but I've been feeling a lot of tightness just from doing anything pretty much like I always want to lay down or s sit down most of the time uh, today I went for a walk and because I felt good I felt good I felt like I could I wasn't feeling like lazy or like I was like you know what I'm gonna go for a walk because it's almost the end and I'm sure this will help in the long run if I go for a walk so me and Lexi went for a couple walks today and I don't know I felt good I got out of breath, but that's about it. Tired and uncomfortable. And I know there's only a few days left, so I'm not. Tr I'm trying not to complain. I mean, I've never got this far in a pregnancy, so I wouldn't know anything about it. Okay, and about my appointment this week, I had a 36 and a half week appointment. It was my last ultrasound, and then now I have no more ultrasounds. Just because I'm on high risk, they would like to do ultrasounds every... At first it was like every month, and then every two weeks at some sometimes every three weeks so today was my last one the baby is still head down he's measuring they didn't measure him but they just checked all this stuff and he looks great he's still a boy <laughs> at the beginning she's like the ultrasound lady said you know what it, what you're having right I said yes the boy she goes okay good because you can't miss it <laughs> okay <laughs> so I thought that was pretty funny so and I went to get my regular checkup and my blood pressure was 110 over 70 some so that was great measured my belly and I'm measuring right on track 
my doctor's on vacation this week so I had another doctor just like check me over right quick and everything looked good so a few days left I gotta admit myself to the hospital on Tuesday morning to do all the paperwork and stuff I just it's they say admit but when I think of it like admitting myself like that means I'm like staying there but no that's just like doing the paperwork for the next day so I don't have to do it so they don't have to they know I'm coming Wednesday morning I'll be there at 7 a.m. So I'm going to vlog that whole day. Probably going to vlog the day before too. Uh, if you haven't watched my daily vlog where I said guess the birth weight, you guys should go check it out and put the guesses down below so then I know what you guys will think. But I said in that video, I think 7 pounds 6 ounces is my guess. Because he is coming a bit early but he's weighing on the bigger side. So an average weight, I'm, I'm assuming. But... Um, because the next two weeks, pretty much all he has to do is, like, gain more fat. So that's just extra weight. <laughs> I don't know. I don't eat the best. But I will be going on a, not a diet. I don't want to go on a diet when I'm done being pregnant. That's not what I want to call it. I just want to try to eat better. Like, right now, I've been eating whatever just to, like, intake my calories just to make sure like he's fed and I mean I haven't gained that much weight oh that's that's another thing I have gained two pounds since last week so I went from 176.8 to 178.8 so I don't think that's too bad I mean I only have a few days left to go I may hit the 180 mark but I mean it doesn't really matter anyways I mean it's not a big deal how much weight I've gained but yeah also I have no new stretch marks yet except for one little one in between my belly button piercing and I'll show that. I think that's all I gotta talk about. I'm gonna show you guys the bump in a second and I'll show you the little stretch mark. And yeah, this, it's just crazy to me how I'm this far along. I mean, the people that are just seeing this video for the first time, my daughter came at 32 weeks and 2 days by severe preeclampsia and HELP syndrome. So it was really... A traumatic intense emergency c-section type of birth and it was very scary for me and in the moment that it happened I was I was strong I was tough but I mean looking back I <laughs> I had no idea what I was getting myself into I didn't know what was going on the doctor didn't really tell me much until after it was done so I'll link my birth story down below if you guys want to know like what exactly happened and I'll link down my 36 week update too if if you guys haven't watched that first. Yeah, I should have did these updates a long time ago. But I don't know. I, I, I was dealing with a lot of stuff. These type of videos and these type of vlogs get me out of my comfort zone. So I feel really good talking and expressing myself because I have a lot of anxiety. And when I get scared to do something, obviously I don't want to do it. And like I have to be pushed to do it. But when I start something like this, I just keep going and it's great. So, this is my outlet, I think, to, to speaking my mind and speaking on my experiences and how I feel and stuff. And then I can kind of relate to other people and other people can talk to me. But I'm going to make a video about that. I'm going to make a video about my mental health stuff uh, later on, probably. But yeah, so now I'm going to show you my 37-week bump and... Uh, yeah, this is the last one, so I don't think I'm going to get much bigger in the next few days. Okay. I don't think I've dropped. I still feel the baby in the same exact spot as, you know, the last, you know, the last few weeks or whatever. I haven't got that line. Like, you know how some pregnant women get that line right here? I've never gotten that with either of my pregnancies, so I don't know what that means or what what it doesn't mean. <laughs> I have a stretch mark right, right here, like in between the top hole and the bottom hole. So it's like the tiniest stretch mark. But everywhere else, nothing except for my old stretch marks they got a bit worse on my side I mean I don't care if I get stretch marks but it's just nice <laughs> I hope I don't get them after I never got them with her except for those these ones on the side right here but yeah. 
So it's my 37 week bump. I hope you liked this update. I hope you clicked that like button and I hope you clicked that subscribe button because I would love for you guys to follow me on my motherhood journey. And I am so excited to share my life with you guys. So hope you have a great day and I will see you guys next time. I may do a few more videos before the birth vlog in a few days, but it may take me a few days to actually edit that vlog because it's such a big vlog. All right, thanks for watching guys. I hope you click that like and subscribe button for more awesome mommy related videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye.